Hi folks, it's John Eisen from LastChanceAuristore.com. I'd just like to share with you another update. Um, this is on the 1973 BMW 2002 hardtop. In our last video we shared with you that we had the car painted and we kind of walked around the car a little bit just showing the, the metallic of the original Midnight Blue. Um, so since then we've done quite a bit of progress on the car. Um, so we have in the engine bay area, it was all in primer and it had different repairs from different times. So we had cleaned everything up and we've painted it a uh, nice satin black color. So you can see uh, we've got the new battery in place and then all around uh, this front section, it's really dusty and dirty. But once this is all cleaned up, this is going to be quite nice. So we have all this kind of uh, cleaned up and tidied up. You can see we have uh, one of our mechanics has a test light on. Uh, we're now in the process of repairing and making sure everything works and before we start the reassembly. So there are some wiring issues. When we received this BMW at our shop, it was completely dismantled. There was numerous parts missing and in storage in a separate um, area. So when we got the car, essentially it was just a shell. And normally when we, we, uh, we restore a car here, especially ground up restoration, when we start from scratch, we make notes of everything. So if there's a crack in the windshield, we make a note of it. If all the rubber has been cut and it's all dried out, we need to replace all the glass rubber, we have notes of that. And then we check everything like flasher, lights, high beam, low beam, the operation of the fan and all that kind of boring stuff. But we didn't have an opportunity to do that. So this process now um, is a little bit different than what we're accustomed to doing because now in reassembly, before we can reassemble the components on the car, we have to check and test everything. And it was good that we did that because when we just come around to, uh, to the dash, and you can see underneath we've got our heater box. It might be easier to see it from the passenger side, but underneath from the tunnel going straight up, there's that uh, black box there. Uh, which you can't really see too much now, but that heater box is a perfect example of, um, of having to check things. You can see here the guys have got uh, wiring all kind of laid in. We've got our steering column in. We have our light switch here and, um, and our fan switch. And there is a lot of gremlins with wiring. And then whoever um, disassembled this car wasn't as careful or... Um, as cautious as we are because typically we label everything um, and we don't like pull hard on the wires so there was a lot of uh, connections that were damaged and, and wires that were cut instead of disconnected in the proper location so we're not sure who that was and at this point it doesn't really matter our task is to make sure um, that everything is working properly so the, the heater box was not working um, there's a rheostat inside that was damaged. So without getting into too many boring details, none of the components were properly working with the heater box, the ventilation, or the fan. So that was completely disassembled. Everything was rebuilt, resoldered, new wires put in, and then the whole unit was reassembled, put back together, and then installed in the car. So the next task, now the heater box is working, now the guys are working on all of the wiring and the cluster to make sure everything works as it should before we start installing things like this, the marker lights, headlights, and so on. So in the front, as we come around the front of the car, you can see we've just dry fitted the headlights in, and these are the original, um, the H4, the Euro style bulbs, which we really like. So um, you've got the sealed beam look with the bulb in behind the H4 bulb. Um, so the guys have set this up, they're testing all the wiring, fixing any wiring that needs to be repaired um, and doing it properly, soldering and, and proper shields uh, to make sure that we have all proper lighting, high beam signals and all that fun stuff. Um, the radiator, um, it wasn't in very good shape at all so we've sent it out to, to have it recorded and done properly. So that's being done. Uh, there is a conversion done with the carbs and we have uh, a concern there isn't a way and they just kind of left it there's no way to get uh, coolant flow or heat into the car and they just have this kind of dangling here because it normally had a pipe that came in uh, through the intake of the of the fuel injection setup 
So what we're going to do is we're going to make a, a, a modification to the radiator. So we're going to have a separate section come out of the rad, which is going to give us a return. So we have proper flow for cooling system and for heat. So we'll be able to have heat and proper defrost in the car because that was just left um, left for naught kind of idea. So as we come down the side, you can see uh, we've got blankets and cardboard kind of set up because we don't want to hurt or scratch any of the door openings. You can see our steering wheel um, is here and getting ready to be installed and the guys are working on some wiring. And as we come along the back of the car, uh, you didn't see the trunk lid before um, and we've done everything separately. So we've painted the trunk uh, separately we didn't have it on the car so you can tell in a previous video all of the paint finish on all the openings is perfect and then I, it's kind of darker in the shadowed area here but you can see the amount of detail uh, I'll just grab a light here maybe we can see a little bit better um, you can see the detail of the trunk lid so not only did we uh, paint the bottom side of the trunk lid and did it properly to match with the paint but then we removed all of the, um, the guides and support rails and the hardware. So now you can see our return spring and then you have our little clips that retain everything properly. You can see that's been all done separately. So we have uh, the rods have been sanded, they're all rusty and had a bunch of overspray on them. So we've sanded them and painted them the proper black color and then we have all the clips put on and our bracketry and then inside the trunk, the last time you saw in the video, uh, this trunk inside, it had, um, it, it, we had it all in primer. So there was numerous repairs done over the years. So essentially what we've done is we've, we've cleaned everything up, we've treated it uh, with a rust inhibitor, and then we've top coated it with a black uh, fleck, kind of like a period correct uh, fleck because most guys when it's had this much work done in the trunk over the years they uh, they would just spray this with like a rocker guard keep it black with a little bit of a fleck there it, it seems to uh, to give it a cleaner look so it looks pretty decent inside and then you can see the wire in here uh, the loom we've got some some uh, primer overspray from previous uh, guys playing with this car we're gonna make sure that this is all cleaned properly uh, but we're working on wiring because you can see uh, here we had to splice in and we went all the way to the tail light wiring uh, because there was some concerns broken wires and rusted wires and shorts so we're doing quite a bit of work to the wiring harness here in the back um, so they'll be working on that because we'd like to be able to uh, to set everything up for tail lights and signals and then when you come over here on the side you can see uh, we've got the marker light uh, set in on the quarter panel here on the driver's side. So nice progress with that. Um, so the trunk lid turned out really well. I think if we come around to this side, the camera can probably pick up how, how nice the... Uh, looks really dusty and dirty here in the shop, but the trunk turned out quite nice along with the rest of the body, but it's really dusty. And then if the camera person just turns this way, you can see we have the bottom of the hood. So this hood was pretty nasty. Um, so there's a lot of work that was done here and a lot of degreasing and cleaning and then we've painted it the original color and uh, in, in previous photos you can see where there was a tremendous amount of, of rot uh, in this front section of the hood and anybody that saw this hood originally told us that we were crazy to try to repair it uh, you should try to buy a new hood but we were able to, uh, to, to make it turn out quite nice so we have this all laid out now because all the separate components um, to, to, uh, to raise and lower the hood, they've all been cleaned and painted separately also. So once they're painted and uh, we'll, we'll put all the hardware, new hardware in with all the new bracing. And then you can see our doors are also done. And uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, when we painted this car, I apologize for all the dust, uh, when we did the, uh, the painting because of the metallic, uh, we always want to make sure that we paint everything all at the same time. So the body, the hood, trunk, and doors uh, were all painted at the same time with the same pressure um, and the exact same mixture of paint so we know that everything uh, matches as it should. And these doors turned out really, really well. Um, the body work 
I wouldn't want to say it's exceptional because it sounds kind of cocky, but um, there's absolutely um, really, really straight. There is a considerable amount of damage and an unbelievable amount of body filler from previous repairs and scrubs and damage, and now they've turned out quite nice. So um, we have both doors done and uh, the inside edges and everything is done. And in the center section of the doors, they will receive a rust treatment. And then we're also going to put a sound deadener um, inside the door uh, panels uh, before the total reassembly and the door panels go on. So we'll just come back around to the front. And I think that's pretty much all the excitement for now. Uh, we're going to continue to work. We've got a bunch of parts scattered on the tables here. We've got, um, we're trying to pick the best of the tail lights and there's been some that are damaged and cracked and there's uh, um, gaskets missing and hardware missing. So uh, we're going to go through and see what the best components are that we can reuse. Uh, we've done a lot of work on the, uh, the grills. I'll just give you a little teaser here. Uh, these are um, the, the headlight surrounds and then um, our grill assembly and it's aluminum. Uh, there were some strips across here. Several were damaged and missing. So what we did is we kind of cheated a little bit is we removed what remaining strips there were that were damaged. We sanded all of the glue and adhesive off and then we uh, masked everything, we primed and we painted it with the satin black. So once these are, uh, the masking is taken off, which just to show you a little tiny bit here, once the masking is taken off, uh, we're going to polish and clean the aluminum surround and all of these the best we can. And then when we go to reassemble, um, you're, it's going to look factory original, but uh, we don't have to rely on trying to find those slats and uh, there is numerous uh, slats that were missing and damaged. So just some of the detail work we need to do in the preparation uh, before we continue the reassembly. So we'll be playing with this BMW and uh, we'll share with you more videos as the build continues. So this is the 72 uh, BMW uh, 2002 model and I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.